Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Dr. Donna. Welcome to week 32 of 10. Last week, I read Tribes. Here's what I have for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a great book. Yes, I am recommending it. So much so that I actually have notes that I'm going to be reading from because of the impact of the book. So the first thing is, what is a tribe? A tribe is a group of people connected to one another, connected to a leader, and connected to an idea. Now, a tribe group only needs two things, and that's a shared interest and a way to communicate. I am building a tribe because I'm the tribe leader and the people that follow me are a part of the tribe, are real leaders, and the way that we communicate is via the way you're seeing me right now. We do it through the internet, through the device that you are looking at right now. My tribe is all about personal accountability and the 74 principles of real leadership and the things that you do day in and day out to hold yourself personally accountable to become your best. Now, what's interesting is when this book was written, I didn't have a tribe. I was still working at Frito-Lay and I hadn't even started writing Real Leaders Wear Pink. But now... Look at all how much time has passed, and here I am with my own tribe. I remember when this book came out, and I thought, hmm, tribes, okay, let me get back to work. Who would ever thought many moons later, many days later, that I would be reading the book, and I have my own tribe, and the book is so apropos for me. I was just like, wow, yes, 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 yes. So if you are building your tribe, go ahead and get the book because it is applicable. Now, what's the difference between a tribe and a crowd? So a crowd is just a tribe without a leader, and a crowd really doesn't have communication. So they're just there. If you think about a crowd in the, at a party, at a concert, just whoa, whoa, yay, yay, that's a tribe. They don't really have a, a shared interest that goes beyond that music, and they aren't really doing anything disruptive or risk-taking or innovation. They're just, hey, follow the crowd, follow the crowd. Now, crowds are interesting, but tribes last a lot longer. So how do you know if you have a tribe or you have a crowd? You have a tribe when people are actually taking risks, when people don't care what other people think. They're not like, oh, the criticism, we got to stop. But a crowd is just that if you see herding sheep or cattle, they're just all going in the same direction, not really doing anything, not really disrupting, just status quo, status quo, just going along to get along. That's a crowd. When you have a tribe, you're they're going to be like, oh. Oh my goodness, look at them over there. They don't look like everybody else. They're not doing everything else. They're, when the iPhone first came out, people were like, yeah, I got my iPhone, I got my iPhone. And it is this movement. It is this thing that is disruptive as hell. And it takes the status quo and flips it on top of its head. And you're like, oh, the touchscreen, the cell phone, and all these other things that happen. But there are very few people changing people out there. I'm one of them. I'm one of them for sure. But it's not a lot of that going on. So we have people that are changing technology. And to a certain extent, we're changing people a little bit. But extraordinary? When is the last time that you saw a group of extraordinary people all together that wasn't sports or entertainment? But it's just like, wow, those powerhouses, they're great parents, they're great friends, they're great fam family members and business owners. are just a great group of people. <sighs> Few and far between. And that's my mission. My mission as the tribal leader of real leaders and the theory of personal accountability is that everybody, I know it's not going to be everybody, I wish it could be, but enough people would just understand how to access your best on a daily basis. That would be amazing. If it could happen in my lifetime, I would be forever grateful to higher power God in the universe. So people don't choose to do remarkable things because of the criticism. For the last 14 years, I have been criticized by a lot of people for what I'm doing put down, told me it's not going to work, stop, it's stupid, go do something else, you're, you're so good at so many things, why would you do this? And because it's my tribe, it's inside of me, I, if you cut me right now, I'd bleed RLs because I'm real leader for life, baby, that's just what it is, because I know when you access your best, I've seen it, I'm seeing it, when you access your best, it's nothing like somebody saying, I held them accountable, I'm out of that situation, and I'm doing great and amazing and elite things, I'm pristine, Mwah. creme de la creme. That's what it's about, baby. That's what this tribe is about. And so, yeah, I can't, I, the criticism doesn't even bother me anymore because I know that when you hold yourself personally accountable, you're just like, man, I'm hot shit. This is it, baby. Right here, real leader, real leader for life. 
you just feel different. You just walk different. You just do everything with just so much extra enthusiasm because be the best is one of the 74 principles of real leadership. So yeah, I'm going to keep building my tribe. The other thing is that leadership is scarce because few people are willing to go through the discomfort of what is required to lead. Got a lot of managers and people in positions of power authority, but nobody's really leading and that's unfortunate, but real leadership can change all that. Real leadership says I am the CEO of me incorporated first and then everybody around me has to become a leader too. That's just the way it has to be now. There's too many people in the world, too many people doing things. Everybody has to be responsible for themselves and that's what's going to actually shift humanity. And then the other thing is to change the status quo. Change the status quo. Don't be regular. I talk about that on my TikTok lives and my lives in general. Don't be regular. You were not born to be regular, mediocre, average, mundane, following the crowd. Mm -hmm. No, you were meant to be extraordinary. And one of the extraordinary things that you can do that Seth Golden said in the book is start your own tribe. Later for the status quo, I say, Dr. Donna quote, status quo is a status no, and that shit got to go. Okay, no more status quo. If you have it inside of you to be a tribe leader, then go ahead and build your own tribe. And the thing that he said is this follower shit. Ain't nobody care about no million followers. You get a thousand people actually engaged in a true tribe, and y'all gonna be some bad mofos out there. So it's not about the quality quantity of numbers. It's the quality of the people in the tribe, because that's what's going to keep it pure. Focus only on the people in your tribe and building out your tribe. I'm not concerned with technology and politics and things like that. I am concerned with daily personal accountability. That's my focus. That's what I wake up every day living, eating, and breathing because that's my tribe. So today, right now, go ahead and build your own tribe. Status quo crowds, that's a no-go. Get the book, read it, and then build it. Got it? Good. Last week's next cycle is I started doing audios on YouTube because Spaces just was not, it was unintuitive from a user perspective. So I switched it to audios on YouTube and now the, it's a playlist and it's personal accountability. I'm still enjoying doing it and it's more fluid for everybody who's using the real leader resources every day. So it is working out immensely. Very good next cycle. This week's book, Zap. Well, that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. But before I get out of here, just remember the tenacity of 10. Let the next cycle begin. Adios.